Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters. How are you doing here today? I'm just coming on here because I wanted to talk and find out from everyone how you're doing. If what you've been feeling with these energies, because I know some powerful stuff has been happening today. Yes, it has. How's everyone doing tonight? How are you feeling today? There's a lot of powerful things happening. I know I know y'all are feeling some energy today. I would love to hear from everyone what you're feeling today cuz I felt some I'm still trying to work through I maybe a little nasal cuz I had flu-like symptoms, which is a part of the ascension. So I'm kind of on here impromptu. Did you see the sign that I just posted? That's just that's just God in her infinite and his infinite way telling me that they're here. That's right. That's right. A lot of powerful energies coming through today. And I wanted to hear if anyone is having the same similar type of symptoms. As I've been feeling a lot of energy earlier from, from earlier today. I felt it from in the wee hours of the morning. But I also wanted to share a dream. Yes, I did. I wanted to share a dream that I had this morning. And it's a, it's a very powerful dream because of the message that has to do with humanity in and of itself. And I'm not afraid to speak up as anybody that know me. I'm a very powerful dreamer. And so whenever I get a dream that pertains to us, I'm, I'm looking for a particular song because I wanted to play the background. Wanted to play the background to it. Greetings, 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 and more greetings. I'm looking for the song first, but I'm coming. I'm a little bit nasal because I have a little bit of a cold, but I'm 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 feeling a little better. Yes, I am. Oh my goodness, I'm you're trying to find the song and I can't find it. You walked away from a friend today learning that you no longer have to sacrifice a piece of that. That's right, Lauren. Uh, a lot of things are shifting away from people, places, and things. You know, I have so much exciting things to share today. I'm just trying to look for this particular song. I'm looking for this particular song because of the message that I just see a while ago coming straight from God, straight from the divine. That's right, straight from source. I love when I get these messages. I've been trying to get on here for so long and it just wasn't happening. So I said, you know what? I might as well just come in the car and just do it anyway, you know? Might as well. I can't find, pardon me. Oh, I found it. I just saw on the license plate, hi Raj. I saw on the license plate, it said, Ja. That's right. And I know I put it out there that nothing shall stop me from playing this music because, you see, I tell you the glory of Ja is just showing up today. Big time. Big time, big time. We'll be getting some powerful messages, signs, synchronicities. I've been feeling so much energy coming through. I've been speaking in tongues all day, so if I start speaking fast and anything come out, just know that this is the glory of God showing up and showing out this is this is sharing this is sharing I'm, I'm just being real with whatever is happening can't ignore the signs can't ignore what's happening that's right some powerful stuff going on here for me to come out from leaving where I was and see on the lights the place said ja Bruce, you must talk I have to talk and I'm gonna speak so and that means that the energy of Bob Marley is around right now because you know i get a lot of messages that come straight from bob marley this week i had messages coming from robin williams and it keeps on going i tell you there's no space in between the time with whatever is happening for me as far as the messages that i get that i'm to share so anyway i had a very powerful dream i wanted to talk about but i also wanted to find out from anyone has anyone been feeling the energy of things happening have you been feeling some people have been contacting me they've been feeling headaches i had some headaches Headache from last night that went through from in throughout the morning. Um, I was I'm just kind of moving through from um, let me moving through. I've been having so much uh, that flu-like symptoms. I was having aches, pains, a lot of 
aches and nasal stuffiness my throat like I couldn't speak and so on and so forth so all of that stuff is happening and I'm telling you somehow between from the wee hours of the morning until up until now I've been feeling a lot of colds coming through it's the first time I've ever felt consciously feeling all this energy that was flowing through and from what I was hearing coming from spirit this was coming from Sirius okay so you know Sirius is also known as the, the part of the, the, the central Sun and this is where we're getting a lot of colds are coming into our bodies and our bodies are shifting and ascending to acclimate these colds and a lot of belief systems and stuff is breaking down and so I realize even all these dreams that I've been having back to back to back has to do with me walking away from a lot more belief systems a lot more structures a lot more things and a lot of you the same thing is gonna be happening whether you're losing friendships or uh, your family members might be turning away but just know this is a part of the process and this is a part of the divine in what is to happen so anyway I have some news I want to share with this dream that I have tell you it got me so excited because you see when I had the dream after I woke up I got a message I got a message from um, Indiara her telling me something and she had no idea about me having that dream so this is how spirit will always have me getting messages and it's the same thing for you if you allow yourself to be open okay that it was no coincidence with the dream I had to coincide with her telling me what she told me so anyway most of you know so I mean I like to talk about the politics business but you know when we start talking about something I gotta share the news because I had a a, a dream years ago it was over gosh it must have been over 15 20 years ago I had a dream that there was no more government okay that's what was shown to me and this was when as a matter of fact it was during the time when uh, the younger Bush was president that's when I had the dream okay so I don't remember what year he ruled the place whatever so anyway the dream I had was I was in a government building to uh, this morning I had the dream this afternoon actually I had to do or this morning whatever and I was in the government building and it's almost like I was trying to get food stamps or some other stuff or whatever and there were some people that I knew that was there and what happened it was kind of bright in there and everything and when I looked Gabrielle Union the actress she was standing there in a, a dark colored suit and she had her hair up in a bun and um, she went and she took off all the the photos paperwork and everything off of the walls okay took it all off took it off of the walls and she took it off of the walls and when I looked at her and I was like what's going on and she said that it was done whatever that was over no more of this was happening anymore and it's like as if she was representing the female black aspect of God and saying that things were shifting okay that's right and so when I tuned in in the dream, it's like I felt the government was collapsing and coming down. Okay, it was stripping down and the way how she was stripping down. And I'm telling you, I know she was representing the black female after God because that's how it started out originally. Anybody who don't want to believe that, tough titties because that's my motto because that's the truth. Everything started black and it started with the black mother. And so that tells me that more things are shifting on the planet with the lot that's happening with coming in between uh uh, Halloween coming in tomorrow and the next day represents 11 one one okay that's a one one day vibration one 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 how things are coming into alignment because the way how things are working is that everything is just culminating together and integrating together and that means that anything that is coming together that represents the light anything that represents the opposite of that is going to continue to disintegrate your world is gonna look like it's falling apart that's a part of the process that's right so it was so fantastic to have that dream and then when Indiara contacted me to tell me about the fact that there were some people getting arrested or whatever to the I already predicted and knew the time was coming then another friend of mine she contacted me today to let me know that some things were coming forth with more secrets that are coming out and this is all a part of the process is that a lot more secrets are gonna come out because of how thin the veil is it's just getting thinner and thinner cannot run away from that which is and so there may be some that just won't understand and just choose to not want to believe it or know it. And once again, I say tough titties because it's happening. And so it brings me great joy to know that everything is happening just like what was shown to me by spirit. And so for me, 
to know I have that dream. And then, hi, and there, oh, I'm just talking about you, girl. And as I come out and I say, jump on the license plate, then we know that things are going. You see? That's right. It is a happening. It's happening. It is happening. So, like I've said before, you can come back and look at this again. I know that at least something before this year is out, there will be some more things that are going to be shifting for me to have that dream to do with Gabrielle Union. And no coincidence that I saw her on the billboard not too long ago. And that was a confirmation from Spirit again to show what was happening. And no coincidence, her birthday was yesterday. She turned 45. Who is the 45th president? Huh? Supposedly, we can't be not call him president. Okay? Anybody who talked to me personally knows what I really call him. So anyway, that's the deal. That's what I wanted to share. I wanted to share this live and direct to what is happening. So forever, everything is happening on track to the way that it is supposed to be. This is a time for you to think about what you are manifesting because as the full moon is coming in right now, because even as, as I'm looking outside, I see how much it's coming in stronger and stronger. And this is about how much you are manifesting your desires and being empowered within yourself with what you are manifesting. And that means that you are releasing more of the stuff, the belief systems, all that stuff, because I know that's one of the things. And oh, how can I forget not to share this also? I'm on a roll tonight. I had contact from one of my relatives, a female relative, that had turned away from me and she sent me a text indicating that she forgave me for whatever I did to her. Now, I didn't do anything to her, but it's just because of her perception of things that happened from past lives. And I knew she represented the genetic line on the female side to my family, okay, on my mother's side. And there are certain belief systems that are held in place, especially with our colored folks, because so much things are so structured from past lives to do with um, the biblical references and the control that had been placed by the Europeans and how it had been for us. You see what I'm saying? And because those structures are also breaking down because the dream that I had earlier, uh, late, later last week, actually, when I walked away, because most of those people didn't want to hear what I had to say. I talk about, call them the stiff neck people. Okay. The stiff neck people. I walked away. I gave no fucks whatsoever what anybody had to say. And it's exactly how I am now. I don't have to think about if whether you understand what I'm saying or if you uh, think I'm crazy or um, if you think this is not happening. Because guess what? It's increasing and increasing based on what I was experiencing today. I said, like, whoa, it's almost like I felt an energy of things just being still. And I knew that I felt the energy was flowing through from uh, the planets and something was happening because it's like as if everyone was at a standstill and it just made me feel like as if things were just flowing through and happening and happening and so when i started getting contact from this one saying they have headache this one said they're feeling things in their solar plexus some were feeling um uh, i was hearing some people were feeling um uh oh gosh what was it again um diera um tingling or chills in your body and so on and so forth so all of this is a part of the process of ascending so if you know you're holding on to anything or anyone that you know it's time to let go i would let go if i was you because you are going to start to feel more things breaking down in your life and that is how the divine is doing it and it's not to scare you it is to awaken you so it's either you come to a surrender with that or you might experience something that's called uh, a soul shock okay and the soul shock is when it becomes so uh difficult for you almost to the point where you're almost grieving that's exactly where it takes you and sometimes it has to happen that way in order for you to awaken to your true self awaken to your gifts also so it's not just um it's not a punishment it's just for you to awaken to yourself you can't bring in the new gifts for yourself for what's happening in your life if you have the old stuff. And that's just the way it is, okay? If you're hanging on to any relationships that are not serving you, regardless of what the relationship is, it could even be a, a, um, a family member that you're living with and you know that it's not comfortable, you're not on the same level, you're not on the same wavelength, and you're still sticking it out because of financial reasons or because you feel like you're being programmed to stay there, otherwise, you know, you might lose something, whatever, then more things are going to keep happening until you leave. You see what I'm saying? And this is exactly what is happening. 
This is exactly what's happening. So, and even when something happens with the government breaking down and the stuff from the dream that I had uh, today, that tells me that for those who are also holding on to the structure of money and the structure of physical possessions, that too is what can happen to shift you as well. Because we are starting to recreate things in our life where we don't have to necessarily manifest it based on money because a lot of times some people don't realize that we can also manifest things into our lives not based on the the physical money itself and where do you place your power in money and where do you place your power in physical things you see what i'm saying you have no idea how i wish i could share some of the other stuff that i'm experiencing that you'll be like oh my god but you know got it in due time in due time you see in due time because you see Everything that's happening is also based on the supernatural stuff. It's not just the physical things you see in the world because heaven is now here on earth. Yes, it is. And she is ascending. She is ascending. So I just wanted to share, to share this public message with you today as I continue on my path and my journey of wonder and amazement because that's what it's like. Yes, it is. That's what it's like. And it's like a freedom, you know. You get to choose. You get to choose so if anyone would like to share anything please feel free feel free to share if you would like I love when I hear uh, new information or if you've been feeling and experiencing the same things be very lovely to share that you know yes I'm gonna see if there are any comments made and I'll make it I'll respond to it before I depart so Danielle, you said absolutely the ancestors are raising our vibrations. They're getting closer, keeping you pinned. Yes, the ancestors are here. They're not even closer. They're already here. They're already here. That is what I have been getting because I, as a matter of fact, I was actually in Tibet. My, I was having a memory being back in Tibet because someone sent me a friend request earlier today. And I started to feel his presence and I just started to, the tongue started to come out. And it's because something was reconnecting with me being in Tibet and he was a priest and I was a high priestess. So that alone was telling me that there were some more things coming through um, in different timelines. So, you know, there are things that we're clearing in um, some of our timelines that no longer service, serves us, which has to do with the old belief systems and patterns and behaviors that we have, things that we still want to hold on to. And, in, and at the same time, we're also bringing in the gifts and powers and the magic that we have, because this is also a magical time frame for those who um, have a greater memory of what they have and who they are. Okay. And all of this is helping for things to shift even more excuse me on the planet hi Clive how are you <laughs> thank you and this is also helping for things to shift even more on the planet based on these gifts you know that that we have so like I said it's important to be conscious of what is happening around you pay attention to the messages and the sign be aware from those of you if you have a lot of money in the bank don't keep too much money in the bank because I'm telling you you will remember me telling you all of these systems are going to start to collapse and start to shift and change. What's going to remain eventually, I don't know when it will happen, but what's going to really remain eventually as far as anything to compare as far as um, value is gold. Okay? Is gold. Everything is rewinding back to the way how it was um, before without anybody getting greedy over it and 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 stuff like that. and that's why it's important for people to shift in consciousness first before anything else will start to implement even more in the physical world because it's already starting to happen because there are some people already starting to barter with certain things do you see what i'm saying because if you still hold on to the physical aspects only of what is happening this is where spirit is going to come in and break it down for you where it'll start to be taken away i had to go through this process i'm just a bit more ahead sometimes so far ahead i'm like light years ahead sometimes with things that are happening and eventually there are more and more souls who are going to start to awaken more to see and a lot of people are starting to shift through the lies and 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 truth you see a lot of things and so whether or not you don't choose to want to face the truth that's too bad because it's already going to show up in your space because that this is my motto if you hear something from somebody 
and then you hear it in another way from another source, then that means there must be some truth to it. And you see, those energies and forces would love for you not to remember who you are and stay in that mental slavery and stay in that mental prison, okay? So that way they have more control and power. You see what I'm saying? You said, keep your eye out for bird feathers, shiny coins, and 11. That's how they get your attention. Yes, our ancestors and, you know, our loved ones and spirit guides and angelic forces and all of that get our attention in so many ways. I've received feathers. I've seen 1111. I get pictures through movies. I also get com channel communication from those on the other side like I said like you know like I hear Bob Marley just coming through and Robin Williams earlier this week you know talking about men uh, also mental issues and stuff and what's shifting with feminine and masculine and also what's working through in terms of relationships and shifting you know one of the th things that was shown to me by spirit to also share is really focus okay males and females focus on where you need to heal when it comes to the feminine and that includes what is your relationship with your mother sister aunt female cousins okay it's so important because that part is what helps for you to come into balance and as you come into balance with yourself with that relationship so does everyone else this is where we're not going to be on this earth where we're in relationships that is not your true connection all of that is going to be changing and shifting constantly constantly if you go off and go be with somebody and you know in your heart they're not your your true connection or you're staying in a relationship that is not your true connection because you're in fear of what may happen or fear of what you know other people say or your family say or if you're staying because of children or you're staying because of convenient for you financially it's gonna fall apart and it's gonna keep falling apart more and more and more that's what it is this is about following your path to where you're being led by God and when you tune into the connection that you have that is what is the the pinnacle aspect of the connection you have to the feminine. That's the pinnacle aspect of what it is when in terms of how you feel about females if you're a male. If you are feeling wounds within yourself and you go into a relationship that is not healthy for you or you go into a relationship that you know that it doesn't feel right anymore, you are in that relationship because you're still healing through the wounds of whatever it is you've had in this past life and other lifetimes. I can't begin to tell you how many people that I've been reading for for the past several days that the main thing that keeps coming out is the issues that they have with their feminine aspect that's connected to their mother whether the mother is deceased whether the mother is physically here whether the mother has passed away and that's an abandonment or the mother gave them away through adoption or the mother has control over them with who they are to be with in, in a conditioned um relationship because they were appointed to be with the person because that was what they were chosen to be with that person is it, 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 if you are carrying the resent any resentment anger or um uh, having some type of issue that you had with a sister or a family, any female, think about it, write it down and work through it through yourself. So that way you can help yourself to cut you. It's not something that you can just turn away a blind eye and think that it's going to go away because it's not. And so if you find yourself having issues with a lot of females or you have a certain perception about females, that's the reason why you're not in balance because of that, because of that. And the same thing goes for females. If you have an issue when it comes to males, um, then think about what it is that needs to shift within you to do with that, to do with that aspect also and how you're viewing that male person, the issue with how you feel about that male, whether it's through your father and the same thing to do with your mother. You see, because all of this is what's important for you to come into balance because you're coming in more into balance with ourselves with, um, with what's happening uh, between tomorrow and today. It's already happening now, and that is where the yin-yang aspect comes in. So I just wanted to add that in there and share that with you because there's always so much to talk about and so much to understand about ourselves. And um, a lot of times, like I said, human beings, they turn away from what it is that they should consider what comes up for healing for themselves and not run away from it, you see? 
So I just thought I would share these messages with you. And um, if anyone has any questions whatsoever, please feel free to ask. I just wanted to bring this message for anyone who uh, might have interest in wanting to hear what was going on today because I know that things are shifting even more dramatically um, right now on the planet. That's right. Things are shifting dramatically, dramatically, dramatically because I have never felt this as much and I'm very sensitive when it comes to energy so I know when I'm feeling it, I know that it's happening. When I feel it, I know that it's happening. And we're going to, and it is, it, there's nothing that I can say as how long is this going to last because it's ongoing. It's an ongoing process. We're going to keep feeling this over and over again in different ways and different myriad of ways. And that's why I like to connect to others to find out if they're experiencing something similar um, with what's happening. Pay attention to your dreams because your dreams are also going to show you even more so what is happening dynamically to do with yourself and what's reflecting and mirroring from that other person, especially if you're a twin flame. See what is mirroring between you and that person more so because that's your biggest mirror. That's your biggest reflection. Anyone else outside of you is also a reflection as well. Also, if you're carrying, I'm talking anybody, if you're carrying anything that was given to you or any conversations, text messages, um, mementos that you've had from past relationships, get rid of it because it's carrying old energy. And that is a block to your gifts also and coming into your own union within yourself and what it reflects outside of you. You see, because everything that you have with you, everything that you contain with you carries energy. So it's important to, to do that for your highest and your best as well because a lot of times people want to hold on to old um, things if you're being guided to move from your location move from your location trust spirit and trust the divine that everything is always going to be put in place for you for where you're to be where you're to go and as long as you allow yourself to align with that then you know that everything is going to fall into place and not have any fear um, surrounding it I did post a video that I did uh, I think it was day before yesterday because the time is just speeding up so fast it's like it's like even me trying to keep up with myself it's, it's, it just becomes almost impossible because I don't anymore I just surrender to my path I surrender to everything that I do and be a lot of times I be talking and I'm like did I just say that it's just it's just everything is just in flow with me with the connection that I have to the divine through my higher self and that is where and that is where, and that is what's going to be happening to almost every single person that starts to turn on that switch within themselves to connecting to the divine. Where you're not going to be just blindly accepting what just what somebody said, especially what has been written in the past. Almost two of the people are here talking about to let go of the books and things because I know the books are there for knowledge and information and stuff that hasn't been taught. But I'm telling you balance out yourself with also paying attention to the signs and the messages coming from the Holy Spirit. Okay, coming from the divine, the things that are unseen, the unseen. Okay, seen. <laughs> okay, um, Dara, you said, as soon as your cook is over, you delete message between your son and soon to be as a yeah, you maybe you can save the messages in another, um, in another way or something like that. You know what I mean? Because I'm telling you, a lot of times people don't realize that when we let go of the baggage okay if you have stuff in your house that you've had for a very long time like clothes and items that you had even from places that you probably worked or did business with time to throw it out time to shred it time to release it because all of this these are a lot of times when people say well why isn't this happening for me but this is happening for this other person or I'm not able to manifest well you also need to think about what is it that you need to release not only energetically within you but also physically in your physical world Sometimes people leave out the physical part and then just want to deal with the spiritual part. And someone want to deal with the spiritual part and they leave out the physical part. Always allow yourself to be in alignment and balance with everything. Just like what um, Daniel said, the balance of mat. That's what it represents. You know, research and check into things with your life to see what more you need to find out about your past lives. That's another thing. That's right. The more you allow yourself to know who you are, and that includes your other lifetimes, 
that helps to bring you into balance also yes it does and not be in fear of it and say if it's foolishness or as our old folks say oh that's coming from another source that's not from God let me tell you something as long as it exists it came from God God the infinite omnipotent humongous more beyond the human brain okay the beyond 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 okay put all of this together for a reason for a reason the soul cause itself to forget once again I repeat this again for anyone who missed this message the soul cause itself to forget who it is and as it forgot who it is some chose to come in uh, incarnate as uh, as um, twin souls they were they were created as twin souls because we came to mash up the plate no not much we came to disintegrate all these old patterns and stuff you see what I'm saying everything and the key theme is relationships 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 that may have created situationships as Tavon said <laughs> okay and these situations we are shifting it so they no longer become situations okay we will start making proclamations of the things that we have always desired and staying on our path with our gifts to what we had but we uh, you know de de descended we descended we caused ourselves to keep forgetting and forgetting and started speaking in many languages and stuff to cause more confusion the experiment experimentation took place of going into other relationships that didn't serve us because we wanted to experiment and see if we can try to manifest things in another way other than how it was with the power that was given to us you see that's what happened that is what happened and so we are rewinding again you know that's why you have the symbol of the uh the alpha and the omega the circle because even just before i came on i saw 10 10 again because there, this is a very powerful energetic gateway and this energetic gateway is just having everything just culminate so rapidly and so powerfully together that the you, you, you can't you can't look at this from a linear standpoint you can't keep going into your head this is where spirit is propelling us to stay in the heart and to stay into that knowing of what you're feeling because of the connection that you have through this Christ consciousness that's flowing even more and more and more. And it's going to increase even more as we get closer towards the end of this year. So I'm just speaking truth to you. I'm speaking truth to your soul. You know what you feel because you see you can't hide the feelings because that's why the mass, the mass is coming off. You see, all the masks are coming off. Everything is just continuously propelling for each individual soul to wake up and to wake up within yourself to what the truth is for you, to who you are, and not being in fear of it and coming into that balance. So, anyway, I don't know if anybody wanted something to say or you had any questions you wanted to ask me. Speak now, speak now, speak now. If not, I send you so much love, so much blessings as Mother God's energy is just becoming more powerful and more powerful and more powerful and more powerful by the moment. And anyone who is truly um, feeling it, you will start to feel not only the empowerment, but the freedom that comes with it. How many of you have been feeling free and feeling and knowing something's happening, something great is happening, even if you haven't had it, seen it in your physical world, even if it hasn't manifested as yet, but you know that there's something powerful going on. Hmm? How many of you have been feeling that? You see, because that's what this path is about. And it's, it's, it's all about you still, regardless of what is uh, happening in your physical world remember it's about stepping past the illusions the illusions okay stepping past the illusions getting past the illusions and knowing what is true okay as I you feel liberated right that's how it makes you feel totally liberated free 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 that's right I mean it's like you know when you know when you know when something is just happening, about to happen, no explanation, but you know that it's about to happen and it's happening because it comes in stages, this joy, you know what I mean? 
and it comes with the connection that you have and once you have that no matter what is happening you're not falling apart because you know that that spirit got your back just got your back and that's it you know even if there's no uh, scientific explanation to it sometimes spirit just wants you to just be in acceptance and surrendering to what is and not trying to figure it out and that's and that's where that's how it works you see and it's a powerful thing it's a it's so powerful when you're at that place with this type of freedom because that means that no one can take that freedom away from you but you must die you must die first in order to feel this type of freedom you see you must be born again you must descend into the hell as one would say to the darkness into that part of you that may have fear that may have uh, you know the things that you experience and things that you think you know and when you find out you're like oh my god oh shit no this can't be no and then you it, it, it just it's just it's not gonna work it's not gonna fit I call it when the shoes are outworn and they don't fit good anymore time to take them off you can't keep squeezing yourself into something that's not working and the way how things are shifting on the planet it's not gonna look the way that you expect it to look either you can't tell you can't tell the universe how you expect it to be it's just happening and still we are the aspect of the universe that's bringing us together and some of us are still a little bit sleepy waking up and some of us are waking up and still sleeping during the awakening some of us are awakening within the awakening and it's non-stop some of you I know many of us are not getting any sleep you just up you just you know up 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 you know what I mean no sleep at all I mean I try to go to sleep from six o'clock in the morning so still can't sleep and I was like oh well I just surrender you see because the body is we're gonna be at that place where we don't longer need sleep you see you no longer how many of you not eating anymore either I don't I mean, weird. six o'clock still I eat breakfast <laughs> and I surrender to it too. I was like oh whatever you let it go of time there's no structure where, oh you better eat dinner by three o'clock it's too late or if you eat dinner by 11 o'clock you're going to get fat all of these are just more programming that comes from our ancestors or anybody that you've been around with you know that if you don't do this this is gonna happen if you don't do that this is gonna happen you know what I mean so I feel even more liberated because of the 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 message that I got from my aunt today and it made me feel more free because I knew then because you see what I love about myself is that I say and predict things that are gonna happen or I feel something's happening and then all of a sudden something just backs it up and so I said to my girlfriend two of them I said boy I feel something is happening I don't know what it is but I can feel it something's happening you know what I'm saying and because that happened and what's ironic is that I have on the same clothes with whatever happened from two years ago during a Thanksgiving time frame when things started to fall apart with my family you see and I look at it this way that because I me Sharon me know the truth and I stick to the truth within me because that's what matters it doesn't matter what anybody else says and this is where everyone is gonna be at two for themselves but it doesn't mean we're gonna try and tell someone what's true for them because that's their truth you see but eventually we still come back to that universal truth of love and unity unity consciousness okay and it's not gonna be about religion or if we got church Sunday or Saturday or Friday or Thursday it's not gonna be what the person yam in yam mean eat it's not gonna be what the person wore it's not gonna be whether they're black white Chinese African Indian Arabic you know you know European Mexican it don't matter all it's gonna matter is who were you at the time when such and such was happening did you love did you remember to love are you holding a space of unconditional love okay because no matter what this fleshy stuff here is gonna start to also shift because we're gonna start um, eventually coming in more with our as our light bodies continue to come in more and more and more the physical body is also going to shift with that we're gonna start taking on the personage of our true selves the true spiritual body okay you're still gonna be you you're not gonna disappear because people hold on to the thing oh my god am I gonna disappear you're still going to be carrying that same consciousness of who you are and that's why it's important to let go and to clear out the old stuff that you're carrying because this is what's created all of the stuff that's been carried on from generation to generation so for me 
I feel more liberated because I know that I incarnated on this planet to clear the old belief system that has occurred through the uh, the genetic line um, through on my mother's side and my father's side. That's how I came in as a twin flame, and it's even more powerful because it's myself with two male counterparts. So that makes it even more powerful. Do you see what I'm saying? And and that means that major major shifting in thoughts and how we relate to each other how we relate to life how we relate to the universe how we relate to the divine how we relate to love how we relate to money how you relate to yourself to your body to your family to your culture how do you relate to that and how does it make you feel i say this if you don't feel at your highest and best when it comes to where you're from no matter where you come from if you know, even if you were born into a specific culture, you were born into a specific time frame, regardless of what it is, if you feel in your heart that it's not fitting right with you anymore, that's when you know that's your sign that it's something for you to shift and that it doesn't matter, not giving any fucks what anybody has to say. You, ha you have to be the place where you give none. None to give, none to borrow, none to give away, none at all. That's where. That's the part where you would have to be to feel this kind of freedom you see what I'm saying with no fears because even if you don't do it guess what the younger one of them are doing it already oh yes they are how many parents out there have some rebellious go rebellion going on with the children hmm how many how many hmm because the younger ones they know they know who they are they, they walk they walk into their God consciousness they walking with their heart consciousness okay they're living it and breathing it. They're being it. They're not walking around like the living dead, you know, and, and, and attaining to all the other stuff going out there in the world. You see, they're paying attention to the now. They're, they're walking their truth. They're stepping in their truth. They're being authentic. They're not living in lies. See, that's why my kids love me because they say, they, they, I say to my kids all the time, I say, if anybody stop you on the street and ask you about your mother, what would you say? And I ask all five of them separately. And they all say, mommy, because you keep it real. Because I keep it real. I keep it authentic. I keep it uh, on the up low, not the down low. Okay? And when I say down low, I mean that I'm not hiding anything or there's nothing to be hidden. There's certain things I might not say right now because I'm using wisdom. You see what I'm saying? But I know eventually you're going to hear it. Eventually you're going to hear it. You see? And, and that's why everything is coming out in the open with the government everything, the full disclosure. There's more disclosure that's going to be coming out. What I love the fact is that the, this person that's running the government, whatever, he's actually helping more stuff to be revealed and come out. You know what I'm saying? Isn't that ironic? But it's beautiful. It's all beautiful. So look at things from the higher perspective instead of judging it and saying, oh, this, oh, look at this shit. Look at this, what's going on here. Look at that. And constantly vibrating to the same hatred and anger over and over again. All right, okay, we're aware of that. Now stick back to the program. What do you think the purpose is? What do you think is happening here? You know what I mean? If you keep feeding your spirit the same story that's regurgitating on TV and stuff like that on the news, that's all you're going to keep on feeling and having in your reality you see but as we allow ourselves to shift away from all that stuff that's being reported and tune into what's changing in your personal life and anybody that's around you and those who choose to stay and go let them be detach yourself from people and detach yourself from all of these circumstances that don't serve you use your brains also use common sense use intelligence if it's not getting you anywhere, why go into it? Why bother? Because all it does is hold you down. That's all it does. That's all it does is hold you down. Why are you running away from knowing that it's, it's not serving you and it's not serving anybody else or whatever? And in some cases, it is what it is, you see? But as we align ourselves with truth and we stay on that path of love and staying on that path of being authentic, things will start to keep on coming together because you know, as Yeshua said, we're two or more gathered. As we keep gathering and we keep on remembering ourselves and we're remembering our true power and we're remembering that this love that's coming from Mother God is coming, getting more powerful because Mother God came to me in the dream through as Gabrielle Union. I hope if somebody hears that they send this message to her that she came through it in my dream state and that shows that this power that's coming through is happening, okay? It is happening. Because as we come into balance with the feminine aspect, with the masculine, instead of what it has been, what has happened where it was, you know, taken out, totally disintegrated, why things fell apart, because 
people were still trying to stay away from emotions and stay in fear and not what the truth is and that's why it's so important to know this to understand what this feminine energy means it's not about taking over and 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 um and being in a, f a feminist or anything like that no this has to do what comes into balance you didn't get here from just a male you got here through the female you came from the uterus out through the vagina you came through the utero you came through that gate that same gate that as you leave in and come out you came back in again and recycling over and over again you see and as the soul has taken on all of the aspects of experiences that we've had that's the reason why twins come because we have had so many experiences lifetime after lifetime gathering up information but we we do it from uh, from two different bodies you see what i'm saying but we share the same soul frequency so many of us have incarnated many many lifetimes gathering up this information and as we have done that we've done it so we can have the contrast to know ourselves with who we are because you can't know who you are if you don't have the opposite show up in your space so you can't know who you are to bring back that power within yourself if you didn't have all this governmental stuff that took place already. So you already know it's happened. You already know all the corruption. You already know everything that's been falling apart in almost every country, okay? It's no coincidence. So align yourself and realign yourself with that truth in knowing what's happening, okay? There are some of us who have had dark energies try to attach onto other people to throw you off you know when somebody says no that's not good for you no that person's not good for you either no don't do that because it's something that comes into place because that is the i am not that comes in because you said you i am does you say i am the i am not shows up so i want you to see it from all perspectives when that happens for you and it's happening now because of how much closer how many of you know as soon as you get close enough to what you are manifesting all of a sudden here comes the reaper right that's what sometimes happens right the opposite comes your way that is just you bringing that experience to your reality so that way you get to choose even more am i really who i say i am am i really bringing this into my space or do you doubt again and lose faith you see so don't give up don't give up be aware be in that space of what is happening in a reality from a wider perspective and, and, and allow yourself to connect to the divine and all the messages that you're receiving, okay? In everything, in all things, in all things, okay? So I spoke a little longer than what I expected, but you know, as spirit, you know, when they get ready for me to talk, I just must speak it out to whatever I'm to say. So in this day forward, I just want to be in gratitude, in gratitude of all things because the way how I feel right now is that I can feel how much more things are manifesting into so many people's lives who are on this path, okay? When you said you've waited so long for something to happen or you've waited so long for things to shift in your life and you know, it's like when you have this the, that that type of gift when you realize when you come to this type of self-realization when you know that you are creating this reality that you have because not because you did anything but because of what you've shifted within yourself it becomes effortless you see what i'm saying and it feels so good it really feels so good and so be in that space if you choose of course of surrendering okay surrendering and still remaining uh, steadfast with the signs you receive and, and becoming more empowered within yourself, okay? In not feeling as if you have to get permission from someone else to be who you are. You have to get permission from who you are to be with or you have to get permission to where you need to go or you have to get permission for the passion you have for the kind of work that you want to do. You don't need permission from anyone. I gave myself permission to not descend any longer with anyone else to gather up certain experiences that other people have so I can teach them. No, I already see it from whatever perspective that I can see it from the experiences I have. It doesn't mean that I stop you know evolving no but i j i get to choose you see you all get to choose so on the, from this day i just want to give thanks again for 
all of the divine messages that flow through to us, regardless of where it comes from or how it comes forth, in everything and all things, bless it and be thankful for it because it's a gift, it's a present. Stay in the now. Stay in the now. If you need to go back into the past, of course, if it's based on the, the, the life review that you're having right now, then of course that's that's understandable because you know we're in and out of the Akashic records. So there comes a point in time when you've had the experience and if it has served its purpose for what it has served its purpose, then you can store it away. You don't need to go back and dwell in it again because what happens, what it does, it pulls you back down again and it hinders you. And that's why I said if you're holding on to anything that you've had from someone in the past that probably, uh, you know, the time is up, you know, that energy is, is no longer um, serving for you, get rid of, you know, whether it's a letter or a text or a gift anything okay if it's up it's up because that's some of the things that are blocks in your lives okay if you are facing anything to do with illnesses focus on what your body is telling you look into what your body is telling you for what comes up for healing unless it's something to do with ascension uh, that's completely different because we're all going through something different with our bodies in every way I'm even hearing that there's some females that um, may not have had a moon cycle and all of a sudden it come back again you know there's just so many things you may have an appetite you may not have an appetite you may start eating certain foods and not eating certain you might not even want to drink anything it's just so many different factors involved but don't start to go into panic mode and fear mode because something's happening that you may not understand okay so at this time I'm just going to say just a, a, a quick meditation for you on this day it is almost almost 11 11 so as I stand as I sit but I stand firmly in what is coming into alignment for each and every one of us and mother father God I want to thank you for bringing us all here together near and far because I know that there's so many on this um, this live that are from different countries and even though we may be in different countries and different time zones what matters is that we're still all one and we're still vibrating on a frequency of love and shifting and changing with so many things and we are all on this journey back to God we're on this journey back to ourselves we're on this journey back to our reunions of souls and everything that was such magnificent and and brilliancy and gifts and everything it is now 11 11 right now you know where I am and so everything that I've said everything I continue to say I hold a space for each and every one of us as on here as we're all gathered here in this alignment of the light and the dark aspects of ourselves what comes into balance the yin and the yang um, you know the dichotomy whatever comes in from the positive side we need the negative side for it to work you know because we know that as we use a battery for something to function if we don't have one aspect with the other it cannot work and so this is for us to remember that for us to come together in balance we must understand each other and for us to understand each other that means that we're not judging uh, the, the person or the situation from what is happening only physically but to understand energetically what does it mean for us and what does it mean for our own personal healing what does it mean for uh, healing not for ourselves but our families our loved ones and anyone that we are connected to also and as we continue to come to from that space of wisdom we're able to propel and to move forward with even more freedom for ourselves and more freedom for others as we start to continue to reunite with the magical gifts on, on, on this time frame um, that we are manifesting during this full moon that's already coming in uh, because the Taurus represents the action that's taking place, what's moving forward for things to come into the physical world and everything that we've put out there in intentions, everything we've put out there in our desire and as we speak it, as we speak it, you know, as Mother, Father, God said, it is spoken and it is it is done. It is done, you know, and, and that means that it's aligned together with thought, word, and deed. 
sana shani mi ama cham tu tu ni na me kana na ne eno ira pa tana bandi bira pe kero mi na ma teni mi to kuni mi na ma te chala mi na podo pala isana makani na ma ni mi na keta tani chata ni chata na chana i chata na chana chana keta na na bira kero kulo ma na mi na kina chana bira kulo me pe kelo me ke choko no me na bala pata na pana pa isala ma cha chala be ke tolo mi na bara kano mi ze kiri me ke sala me chaka ra pata la me ke tolo bi sala pata ra be ke chala pata Tara tara ba. Isala me te kero mina me geta na me ada kono mina ina me ada kono mina ina mina ina me kino ma ina mina ina mina. Aina ena aina ina la mina ina la bata la mina la patono mina la kana la kana la kana la kana la kana 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 kana. Ai mina inda la kendo ma la petenda la patono ndora la ina mana mina la patunda 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 la. Ai na 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 ai Ai na ai na ai na ra ra ka na ai na ra ka na ai na ra ka na ai na 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 ra. Ai na ai na ka na ai na 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 ka na ai na ka na 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 ka na 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 na. Ai na ai na ka na na ai na ka na 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 ka na 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 ka na 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 na. Ai na ai na 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 ai na ra ka na ai na ra. Hmm. So I send you so much peace and infinite blessings as we are receiving all of this light quotes that are flowing through every cell of our body and to each and every aspects of our soul as we are coming together more and more with our own healing and power. I love you all. I send you so much love, peace and blessings. Have a beautiful beautiful full moon blessings and don't forget that anything and all things you can think of more for you to heal within yourself that this is the time that you can release um most of this or all of this continuously it's an ongoing thing and the more you release the better you will feel yes and so it is and remember that power that you have within you that power that you have within you and where it leads you to as you continue to balance yourselves so much love namaste